Welcome to our next Van Life Adventure. And in this week's episode, we are exploring the Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. We've been so excited to get to this national park. It is one of the most iconic parks of the US. And there are several different ways and places you can visit the Grand Canyon. We're gonna be starting by spending three days at the South Rim, which is probably the most visited area. And even though it's pretty popular and can get very busy, it's a pretty good place to be based. There's a lot of great hikes from there, some really good viewpoints. So we're gonna be staying at the Mather Campground there for three nights. We're then gonna drive up to the North Rim, which is a much quieter, less busy area, and spend a couple days up there exploring. So. We're really excited, lot to see, lot to do. So let's go see another slice of God's beautiful creation. Let's get going. All right, well, today is our first full day here at the Grand Canyon and our plan this morning is we're actually going to walk over to the visitor center and we're going to rent bikes for the day. You can bike along the Hermit's Road, which is actually closed to private vehicles. So really the only way to get down the Hermit's Road and all the viewpoints along there is to either take the free shuttle bus or to bike, or you could walk along the rim trail. So we thought it'd be fun to uh, to bike that. From the visitor center, it's about nine miles or so, I think, to uh, to get down to Hermit's Rest, which is the end of the road. So yeah, it should be a fun way to explore the South Rim and just see some uh, beautiful views of the canyon. All right, well, we made it back from the bike ride. You know, it was so much fun. We ended up doing about 13 and a half miles all in. It wasn't too bad. There was a few hills. There was a couple of times where we were biking uphill into the wind. It is pretty windy today. Uh, so that made it a bit fun. But man, the views from those viewpoints, they were stunning. We ended up deciding though to ride the shuttle bus back from the uh, Hermit's Rest, which is the, the last basically point along the road. We left Tilly in the van by herself all morning. So we just wanted to get back to her. So we came back to the van, uh, we had some lunch, and we actually decided to rent the bikes for 24 hours. So we're gonna have them for the rest of today. Uh, we're gonna bike over to the, uh, the visitor center from the campground now to go check things out there. And then there's actually a, a point along Hermit's Road called Hoppy Point, which is a beautiful spot for sunset from what I hear. So I'm actually gonna bike back there this evening, uh, do some photography at sunset and just check things out there. So. All in all, not a bad first day here at the Grand Canyon. All 
All right, well, it's day two here at the Grand Canyon, and I actually woke up at about 4 a.m. this morning. I got on the old rental bike and biked to uh, a place called Yaki Point, uh, which is right on the South Rim. Beautiful spot for sunrise, uh, bike there in the dark. Was able to do some photography at sunrise, so it was a really nice morning. We returned the rental bikes uh, this morning, but the plan today is Lavinia's off for a hike on her own. Tilly and I are just gonna hang out at the campground today, uh, just kind of relax. I'm gonna do some editing of some videos and some photos. It's just another beautiful day in this national park. All right, well, it's the morning of day three here at the Grand Canyon, and our plan today is actually, I'm gonna do that same hike that Lavinia did yesterday. It's the Kaibab Trail. If you wanted, you could go all the way down in the Colorado River, but obviously I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, my goal is to get down to Skeleton Point, which is about a six mile round trip hike. So getting started early, I'm actually at the visitor center now. They run some uh, shuttle buses that start at 6 a.m. that run over to the, uh, the trailhead, so pretty much the only way to get there other than uh, walking. So I'm gonna do that now and then we'll get going on the hike. Well, I made it to Skeleton Point, and now the fun part of going back up. Well, I made it back up to the top. What an incredibly beautiful hike, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a bit tough on the lungs coming back up, but man, it was worth it. This place just continues to be somewhere where my videos, my photos, are just not gonna capture what this place is. Uh, it's definitely a place you have to come and see with your own eyes. But wow, really good hike. Our plan for the rest of today is we're actually gonna start driving up towards the North Rim. We've been at the South Rim the past three days. 
we thought we'd drive up there. It's about a four hour drive, so it's a bit of a roundabout way to, uh, to get up there, but we're gonna maybe try to spend a day or two up there and just uh, see what it's like up there. All right, well, it is the morning of day four here at the Grand Canyon, and we did end up driving up to the North Rim uh, yesterday afternoon into the evening. It was a beautiful drive, really enjoyed it. We got into the North Rim just a little bit before sunset, so I went down to the rim. Uh, the light was really pretty. I'll show you here a little bit of what we saw and some of the photos that I was able to take. We weren't actually able to get anywhere to sleep last night in the park. The campground was full. So just a little bit north of the park, there's some areas where you can boondock. It's on BLM land. That's the Bureau of Land Management. It's free dispersed camping. So we had a really good night's sleep here. It was pretty cold though last night. It got down into the 30s. We're definitely at a higher elevation up here. But from what we could see uh, yesterday evening at the North Rim, we really enjoyed it. It's definitely a little bit more our cup of tea. Definitely not as crowded as the South Rim. It is really beautiful. So we're just gonna do a little bit more exploring today and check things out as we finish up our time here in the Grand Canyon. What an incredibly beautiful national park, man. We were just blown away. At times I felt overwhelmed. It was even emotional just sitting and staring out into the canyon. I've said this so many times before, but it is next to impossible to truly capture just the beauty of what we're seeing and what we're experiencing. I hope you've enjoyed this episode though. The Grand Canyon is truly a place you've got to come and see if you haven't already. 
And even if you have seen it, come back. There's just something special about it. I feel like I was able to see God's creation in just a new way and a new depth this week. That's it for now though. We'll see you on the road next time and may God bless you. Thank you.